Hi guys, Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. Welcome back to the channel. Today on the workbench we have a 50 inch TV. It's a, a Born, which I think were a Aldi brand. A lady dropped it in for e-waste. She said it's got something broken with the antenna socket. They had went to their shed. They bought a new one. She was going to throw it out. She remembered I took e-waste and that I like to try and fix things. Everything apparently was fine until the antenna socket broke. So let's see if we can fix it. Let's see if we can save it from going to the waste stream. Okay, I've just placed it on a towel on the bench and we can see here that where the antenna socket is, it's either pushed in or broken off. So um, we'll have to take the cover off, see if we can access that, see what's wrong with it, see if we can actually either find a part for it or maybe salvage a part from some donor board. Uh, the rest of the TV looks in pretty good condition, but I don't think they're a particularly good quality set. Um, and the, the mains power cord doesn't even unplug. So usually on the cheaper versions, you, um, you find that. So we'll take the cover off and let's access the main board area and see what the antenna socket looks like from inside. Okay, about half a million screws later, although we didn't have to take the main cover off, just this part, we should be able to access the main board. We've got speaker wires. Other speakers are in the back cover. All right, we'll take those plugs out. And the main cord, probably just as easy to take that off. Oh, we've got an earth wire. Okay. All right, we can slip that cover out of the road. We'll leave that plugged in. Okay, what's going on here? It looks like that's the antenna. We'll get some focus here. That's the antenna. And it looks like the whole plug section has broken off. It's a little bit hard to see there. We'll take this bracket off. But I'm pretty sure we're going to have to take the board out and... Uh, I don't think that's going to be repairable because we don't even have the bit that's that's gone missing. So we might have to try and find another antenna input kind of box on another board and we might be able to swap them out. I don't know if I can buy it as a new part, but we'll take the, um, the whole board off. We'll take these brackets off and we'll have a better look at it. So we will remove the mains and we'll take the earth wire off. And these brackets. And we can unplug all the extra wiring. Uh, we have an earth, earth strap there. I we'll have to snip this cable toy and now I can remove the board and always good practice to short out any large capacitors just in case it's been powered on recently but the lady told me it had been in a shed for some time so I'm sure that's fine. No evidence of any power there. So our board is loose. It should be able to lift off. There we go. So there's definitely, it's broken the whole front off it. Yeah, the entire actual socket is gone off the front of this. All right, that looks like it might be a little bit involved to um, replace. We might have to unsolder that box. I think probably better I'm trying to go, going to have a look through my uh, circuit boards I've put in a scrap bin to see if there's any main um, TV boards that do have the antenna input and I might be able to then, if I can find something the same, I'll unsolder it and replace it. Okay, just having a closer look at this, it doesn't seem to be overly, overly complicated. Uh, the three part, uh, soldered spots here are just the front of the tin can. Then there's a tab on each side and one at the back 
uh, those two will be a component that's inside we don't really need to have to worry about that so one two three four spots to actually remove the can uh, and really the can is just where the outer of the uh, socket solders to and it's just been torn off it and the middle pin to the antenna just goes to that tab which solders just down to that terminal there so it's not very complicated there's no other parts involved other than whatever is back here but we don't even need to disturb that if I actually had a socket I could nearly solder the center tab to that piece there and the outside to the can without even taking it off but I think I'll have a look and see what I've got on other boards first it'll probably be nicer to replace that whole can if I can find one the same with the same mounting parts and that will then have the antenna socket basically as part of it so I'll have a look through my stocks and see what I can find. So I've had a rummage around and I can only find one other TV main board. Mind you, I have sold most of my stuff when I moved shops, so I haven't had a chance to store up some supplies. This one does have a little can with the antenna socket in good condition. However, it's actually the wrong size. It's close, but the tabs aren't the same. They won't mount up the same. And because the uh, copper tracks on this board uh, aren't so ever done underneath but they're quite involved if you can see all the copper traces under there um, I'm not going to attempt to swap the boards and drill out the holes to take the new sorry to swap the metal cans and to drill out holes to take them because it's going to muck up some of the copper tracks I think what I'm going to do because this board is a scrap one anyway I'm going to take that can completely off there look at how I can get the actual socket part out of it uh, perhaps the center um, wire there can come out I'll unsolder that from underneath and then we might even run a, a just a slightly larger drill bit to make the hole a little bigger and hopefully we can sort of slot the socket in and we'll be able to solder the wire that goes into that one we should be able to get that off without damaging it so we can solder into the position where this one went and then hopefully push that socket into that can and solder it in so it's a bit of a transplant operation. Uh, I think it'll work. Uh, I think we can solder this tin work okay. So I'll pull this one off first and see how hard it will be to get that socket off that can. I don't know if it's soldered. I had a look at it before. And it looks like part of it's sort of crimped. I don't think it's soldered to the can, but I'll be able to grind it off anyway. And hopefully we don't damage the inner wire. And then we'll see if we can transplant it onto this existing box. What we might do is add a bit of solder here first. Sometimes it actually makes it easier to unsolder. Okay, now we'll see if we can release these legs. I'm not sure if it moved or not. I think we'll use the solder sucker and remove, remove some of the solder now. Okay, there's still a bit of solder holding on. But we'll see if we can lever it up. Remember, we don't really need to keep the can. I just want to have good access to the end of it. So I guess it doesn't really matter if we can, if we rip it off the board. Actually, we can take the top off it for a start. This one has a removable top. Okay, that's got that leg free. And that leg, so we got enough solder off it. Probably with two legs free, we might be able to break the other two. I nearly forgot, before we tear it off, we have to unsolder the middle wire. You guys knew that, didn't you? You were all yelling at me. Uh, that's this one here. Okay, I think it's got the middle wire free. Let's get these last two legs out. That's it, one more to go. There we go. Oh, the middle wire is still hanging on a bit. There we go, that's free. So there we can see the inside of the socket and that little tab. So that's fine, we should be able to use that. We just got to get the tab out of, sorry, the socket part out of this can. Okay, the can, the actual socket part looks to be kind of crimped, but flared around on the inside. So I think I'm just going to snip 
uh, the actual can or the you know the container itself to get the socket part out and then we'll see how we go about fitting it into the other one so we're going to need tin snips because this is tin well steel it's not aluminium so it's not overly soft I think that's going to work all right we just want to peel this back oops we'll try and stay in focus sorry I just want to peel this back so that we can get that socket part out. We don't want to damage that lead either. Now these little cutters won't cut it, but we might be able to loosen it up a bit. Uh huh. Yeah, it's definitely been crimped. Clearly not made to um, be dismantled, but we like a challenge. All right, we don't need to keep the box, so we can bend this right around. And there we go, we've got our part we need. Now, getting it to suit the other one is going to be the challenge. It looks to be in good order, though. And, yeah... So as long as that we can get that to fit in the hole of the other one, I think I can solder around the outside. Our lead should be long enough to reach the board. Looking promising. Oh, it's a lot bigger than the hole. So our center lead's going to be okay. We'll have to remove that other one in a tick. But there's not any chance we're going to get it to fit in this box. This box is a lot lower than the other one. So I think it's going to be a matter of soldering the center lead in butting that piece up against the edge of the box and then soldering around the outside. We're not going to be able to force it, push it into the box because we just don't have enough room. Right, so let's remove the remainder of that lead. This should be easy enough. There we go. And I've just cleaned the hole out with the solder sucker, so hopefully we can get the new lead in there. Beautiful. All right, we'll push that in as far as it will go. And I think we might solder that on there now so it's secure. Okay, that's attached, but clearly that's not going to be strong enough to support the socket. So we have quite a gap around here, if we can see this. And it's quite loose, but I reckon we can solder it to the edge of the can. Uh, we won't solder right across the top. I think the gap's a bit too big. But if we can solder the sides, I can always put a bit of silicon on the top just to keep it, uh, kind of keep the dirt out of it and stop anything getting in there. Yeah, I think that might work. Okay, I've got it propped up where the socket's nice and straight and it's close to the metal can I want to solder to so I'm just putting a little bit of flux in here on both sides just to help the solder flow around the can and to the socket so hopefully that's going to work I'm not sure if I'll get enough heat out of this little iron I might have to crank up my big iron but then I don't have room to work in here either so we'll see how we go I'm also trying not to get into your road so you can see Okay, it's taking to the edge of the can nicely, and and the socket, excellent. Probably don't quite have enough heat, but I think we'll get a pretty good solder join there. I can just turn the heat up on my soldering iron a bit. I think that'll make a nice strong solder join. Okay, that's going well enough that I think we might try and solder across the top, as long as we don't drop any solder in there. The gap's not quite as large as I thought it would be. We'll just build it up a bit higher if we can. And we'll try and flow across the gap. It's important to get these sockets strong because they do have a fair bit of stress on them when people pull the cords out.
Beautiful, I think that's really good. We didn't drop any solder in there. And let's just clean it up so that we don't have any more flux floating around to cause any corrosion or anything. That's actually made a really nice solder join there. So I'm just using IPA here to clean it up. And there we go. How's that look? I wouldn't give you a close-up unless I was happy with it, but I think that's great. And now we just have to put the unit back together and installation is the reverse of the dismantle process. Now I often put the screws back in with the drill, but I like to just tighten them with a hand screwdriver. Um, the drill I don't like to try and tighten them with because you can strip the threads uh, or sometimes they might be loose. So hand screwdriver is the best way to assemble and just check that the screws are just tight, the right tightness. Okay, that's all back together. The antenna socket went through the bracket nicely, so we must have got it in the right place. TV is now all back together. Um, and look at this, I'd like to point out, not a single part left over. The uh, antenna socket looks great there. It's nice and solid. Uh, that should be perfect. So since I don't have an antenna in my shed at the moment for testing, I do have one that I'm going to put up on a big tower here. And if you look out the window, it's on top of my scrap pile of wood out there. So that's another project to do. But I can take this TV inside and I'll give it a test run. And there we go, guys. We can see the cricket. It's working perfectly. The TV is absolutely perfectly fine to resell. I'm not sure what it's worth. What do you think of that, Coco? Yeah, do you like the cricket? Probably not. She'd chase the ball. Do you want to chase the ball? Where's the ball? <laughs> uh, so, successful repair. Uh, it's not a smart TV, but it certainly works fine. It has the remote. I would think I'll probably get it $100 or so for that. It might be worth more, but hey, it took me about an hour to repair and it was given to me. So, 100 bucks is 100 bucks. Fantastic. So, thanks for watching that, guys. Another successful repair. Uh, it was totally unplanned. It was dropped off yesterday. I didn't want it cluttering up my shed. TVs take up so much room. So I made a point of doing that today. I was going to unpack another box of stuff from my storeroom. We'll do that tomorrow. Uh, so it goes to show that a lot of stuff that's thrown out is so easy to fix. It's often a, a 50 cent part, or in this case, really just a bit of a solder and robbed apart from another TV that was no good. So you can fix a lot of stuff if you have a go at it. YouTube's a great help. I do a lot of research on YouTube for the jobs that I do and then do my jobs and put them on YouTube for someone else to find. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.